Hello boys and girls, if you want to take better photos using your iPhone, you are probably right watching this video today because I got asked a couple weeks ago if I would like to test some lenses for my iPhone and I was like, oh no, not another Chinese email with like, oh, can you test this, can you test this and it's like all Chinese crap. But in this case, I got four lenses by a company called Lemuro which are really, really nice and they should enhance your photography skills a lot when you are shooting a lot with your iPhone. Here are all lenses that I got for my iPhone and at the moment these lenses are only available for your iPhone since there's only a case, which is this one here, that you can attach to your iPhone. Unfortunately, no Samsung phone, no Huawei phone, no HTC, no Sony, just the iPhone. By the way, the case here feels like leather, but it's kind of plastic anyways. And it's in the region of 25 to 35 euro, which depends on the iPhone you're using. And by the way, you need that case, otherwise you can't attach these lenses to your iPhone. Since they don't have a clip like you used it, maybe if you have used a different lens in the past already. So you need to screw them on to the case which you need to buy first before buying one of these lenses. Let's get to the lenses very quick. With all lenses you get a protection case which looks like that here. All lenses are made of aluminum and they are available in black and white. Each lens will cost you about 80 bucks and the link can be found in the video description below. With all lenses you get about 12 months guarantee and each of these lenses comes with a little bag to protect it. So let's get started and have a look at the first lens which will be the wide angle lens. So here's the wide angle lens that's an 18 millimeter lens. Using your iPhone you have a 28 millimeter lens. It weighs about 40 grams. Make sure you always use these lens caps otherwise you might scratch the front element. And with that lens you get about 110 degrees field of view which is already a lot more than you get with your iPhone itself and here now the first examples make sure to download them the link is in the video description below. Next one is the telephoto lens, which looks like that. It's a 60 millimeter lens. Using your iPhone, you usually have a one to two times optical zoom. Using this one, you have already a four times optical zoom. That is, by the way, the most heavy lens with about 45 grams. And how that looks like in practice will be seen now. Next lens that we will take a look at is the macro lens. That's a 25 millimeter lens with a 10 times magnification. If you attach that lens onto your iPhone and open the camera app, you probably are afraid since everything is like blurred out and you're like, oh my God, is my camera broken or doesn't the focus work anymore? No, you need to go with the iPhone and the lens really, really close to all your subjects like flowers, like food, like a coffee, like other lenses and that kind of things. And you can see all these nice details. And here are now the next examples that I took using the macro lens on my iPhone. Last but not least, here's the fisheye lens. That's an 8mm lens 
with a field of view of 238 degrees, so which is quite a lot. And so many people were asking, how did you do that photo? How was it taken? What kind of lens did you use? Well, it was my iPhone using the Lemuro 8 millimeter lens which is pretty nice because it only weighs 42 grams. If you use that lens, make sure you always put the lens cap back onto the lens if you stop filming or taking photos. Otherwise, you might scratch the front element quite quick since it pops out of the iPhone and the case itself. I hope you can see that here. And that's one of the coolest lenses I've ever seen for my iPhone. Let's make a cut here and ask ourselves who needs actually these lenses. Well, if you're really into photography using your iPhone, these lenses are a great tool to enhance your photography skills or to make it look like that you enhanced your photography skills. They are great for Instagram stories and to be honest with you, there are like tons of people out there who are not willing to buy any kind of DSLR or mirrorless camera because they're all not affordable. Let's assume you have your own coffee shop running, you have your flower shop, you have your design store and you don't want to hassle around with all these big cameras and different lenses. Well, just get one of these lenses. If you want to catch some details, get the macro lens. If you want to have a wide angle lens, just get the wide angle lens. If you want to be closer to your subjects, get the telephoto lens. Or if you want to have a lot of things onto your camera sensor, make sure to get the fisheye lens. You don't need to be a photographer to take great stunning photos using one of these lenses. So they are so simple, you can upload the photos straight away without editing them in Lightroom, without converting them from RAW to JPEG. They're right there and they have a really nice quality. There's just one thing that I noticed when I was testing these lenses for the last four weeks. Using the fisheye lens, make sure to double tap on your iPhone screen to be 100% sure that your photo is sharp. Because sometimes I took a photo and afterwards I realized, well, it's not sharp. So make sure, double tap on it and just wait a second until the camera sets the focus to be 100% sure that the photo will be sharp. Well, the link to all the lenses is in the video description below. How about your opinion about these lenses? Are they worth buying it? Have you ever tested one of these lenses? Make sure to post a comment below. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Lemuro. And if you want to see all the sample footages, they can be found in the video description below. Bye bye.